An upcoming resource fair aims to help older people with a number of financial challenges. Organizers with the Department of Social Services in Chatham County say they are seeing an increase in scams. So they've come on to uh, here to the local vibe to boost some more awareness about this. We want to welcome in Elizabeth Cressman and Nellie Lewis this morning. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. So thank Elizabeth, we yes, thank you. Elizabeth, we want to start with you. Can you just talk more about what financial exploitation is and means? Financial exploitation is the unlawful use of a vulnerable adult's finances, their estate, their property by an exploiter for their own benefit rather than for the adult. And so Nellie, and very, oh, sorry, continue. Um, it's very, very common in um, 2022. Studies have shown that $3 billion were lost to financial exploitation. It's definitely a, a growing issue and especially uh, this vulnerable, vulnerable population. Mm -hmm. Nellie, could you speak more to the recent types of financial exploitation that you're seeing daily? That's right. So in our office, we tend to see um, a, a good mix, but mostly sweetheart scams um, and exploitation by someone that the vulnerable adult may know. So that could be a power of attorney or a guardian. So in Chatham County, we had some pretty interesting um, stats where we saw about 25 percent of the cases or reports that we got into our office um, were for financial exploitation. And then um, that was at our fiscal year last year, but there's been a 5% uptick since then. So we're not even at the end of our fiscal year this year, and we're already seeing about a third of those cases um, being for financial exploitation. Wow. Um, so Elizabeth, what would you want people to do if they discovered that an adult is being scammed, whether it was them or maybe a loved one or a friend? What we say it here at Chatham County Department of Social so Services is see it, stop it, and report it. You want to look for those signs. Are is your adult giving money away? Are there changes in their finances? Um, unusual activity? Are they buying gift cards? Yeah, like and then you want to stop it. Contact your bank, brokerage, law, a local firm, and then let them know what's going on. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, you're going to report it. Mm -hmm. Contact your local adult protective services agency, the local law enforcement, or um, uh, the Federal Trade Commission and let them know what's happening. Great. So you're going to be going over a lot of this again at the resource fair that's coming up later on this week. Mm -hmm. Either of you can answer this, but what exactly is that resource fair offering? We have 20 plus different vendors and community agencies giving out information on food resources, in-home resources, Department of Social Services will be there to talk about services you may be eligible for, such as food stamps um, or Medicaid. So we have a lot of services. That's right. And for your targeted audience, obviously you want people of a certain generation, but would also younger people benefit from attending this maybe on behalf of someone? Definitely. Yeah. This information is for caregivers as well. Uh, yeah. Most of us aren't trained to be a caregiver. We need all the help that we can get. Absolutely. And a vulnerable adult could be anybody over the mm -hmm. age of 18 that may mm -hmm. have some type of disability. So if you're taking care of someone who may have um, uh, um, uh, autism or something of that sort, then they may benefit as well from the resource fair. Great. Nellie, Elizabeth, thank you so much for your time this morning, and we wish you all the best for this upcoming event this week. The Chatham County Senior Resource Fair is this Wednesday. You can visit the Siler City Center for active living from 10 a.m. until noon that day. This event is free to attend, and as they mentioned, there will be several agencies on site, plus some live music and food, so it sounds like it'll be an enjoyable event, too, as well as educational. You can learn more right now on ChathamCountyNC.gov.